Hey guys, Gary from DIY Electronics. I just got another Windows 10 uh, tech tip. Um, now this one here has to do with the onboard RAM on your computer. Uh, my computer, I, I, again, I, I got a new computer. It's sitting back over here behind this other monitor. I just haven't pulled the plug on this, this old i5 yet because I really like the machine. I, I got a lot of stuff on it. And I just got to find the day and time to transfer everything over. But anyways, today, um, really miserable weather outside. So I've had this computer running all day long. I've been doing editing, looking at different YouTube videos and stuff like that. And then I started noticing that um, the video started to lag. Uh, the closed caption started to lag. Um, going to different websites started to really lag. And so what I did is I cleaned the cookies out everything else but i never shut the computer down i was just cleaning cookies i was you know uh getting getting stuff out of my recycle bin i was making all kinds of room on the computer because I, I got a lot of stuff stuffed in here and it didn't do anything so i seem to remember um a couple years back um i took a um a, a, a very short hacking course uh for windows systems and i i seem to remember if you if you start having processes that you want to shut down you actually have to shut it down to the point where because i don't know if you guys knew it but if you just shut, shut your system down and you leave it plugged in it's not shut down it's in uh what they call hybrid sleep all right so everything that you did the day before is still running in the background on your computer and that's how they can call it a fast start because you hit the button and you notice your your computer uh, kicks on real fast because it's never gone to sleep it's, it's never it's never cleaned out the ram the ram has still got processes running in it i'm going to show you a way to um clear all the processors processes out and by you know we're going to do it on a restart and then i don't know if i can do that Oh, I'll have, to, I'll have to video it on my phone um, because I'm going to lose my camera. But anyways, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it right now and I'm going to go to, I'll go to my GoPro and I'll show you how to shut down. No, we'll do a restart first. We'll do a restart that will clear out all the processes going on. And that way your computer will start to really respond a lot better. Um, again, like I said, if you leave a computer running too long, you think you shut it down, but it's not down. It's just in a hybrid sleep and all those processes are still jamming up your RAM. So um, I'm going to stop this now and go to my GoPro. Be right back. Oh boy, I hope this is gonna work guys. Anywho. I'm going to bring this up here all right so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart it but the way I'm going to restart it what it's going to do is it it's going to stop all processes on the RAM so that when it restarts it's like that all your programs have been thoroughly shut down and how you do that is you hit the shift key okay on your keyboard right now I'm with my finger over here I'm gonna hold down shift all right then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna hit the power button I'm gonna hit restart now keep on holding the shift button down until the system powers down wait till your computer powers down all right now you can let go of the shift key now when it comes up and you know it'll say troubleshoot use this device turn off your pc just go ahead and hit continue now you'll notice when it starts up your background and everything else on your login screen is just blue because again it stopped all the processes all right And there we go. I have, I have no login screen on mine. It just boots right up. All right. So that is how you um, 
while you're still working, if you get some sluggishness going on, that's how you clear out the RAM, you stop all the processes, um, and your computer will run a lot better. Now, just remember, if you don't mind a slower startup, hit hold and sh hold the shift down, and then hit shut down, and wait for the computer to shut down, and then let go of the shift key. All right, so let's let's go ahead and do it. So I'm going to shut down. I'm going to hold the shift. I'm going to go over here. Hit the power. I'm going to go shut down. Now keep on holding the shift until the computer powers down. All right. My computer is totally shut down. Now I'm going to let go of the shift. Now I'm going to restart it. Notice that my screen was blue there for a second. That's because the processors have stopped. Even, even the background had stopped. And then once the process started, then the background came up. But anyways, guys, that is how... Um, let me turn you around. That is the long and short of it on how to use shift restart and shift shutdown. That is my rendition of shift restart and shift shut down you may hear other you know ways of doing it but that's the way i do it and uh it works really well for me i got an old i5 and i if i do notice that it's it's getting sluggish i use the shift restart and everything is running smooth again i, I can't get in the center of this thing all right so guys thumbs up thumbs down subscribe hit the ring ring the bell leave me a, a message and I'll get I will get back to you. I, I get back to most everybody that leaves a comment or asks me a question. Thanks for watching guys.